Oh! Ah, that's sick. That's a yam. Okay. Saw this one. This is just silly. What is good? What's going on, everybody? My name is Steven Sally. You already know that I'm 5'10". People ask me that every single video, and that's fine. I'm currently in injury mode, rehab mode for the hamstring. Hip flexor is going to be unlocking it. You'll, you can follow the journey on my Instagram. I'll tell you about it if you want to know. But today, I wanted to do a little recap of the week. Maybe make this weekly. So let me know if you like this video, because if you do, I can do it every week. A little bit more time while I'm not training as much or making vlogs. So let me know. So this week... My boy Billy, aka Mr. Dunkademics, hooked me up with his favorite top five videos of the week. So I'm gonna do my top five dunks of the week. I haven't seen them yet at all. I might have seen them because I've been scrolling, but also I'm probably gonna go through the dunk life hashtag. Let's get it. So next week, if you like this video, when you post a dunk, when you post your training, I'll probably be scrolling that. So we'll see how that goes and I'll probably see you there. So let's get right into it. All right, so first up, I already see we got Isaiah right here, my boy. Look at this. Over 12 feet. He hit 12-1. I think this was equated to a 48-inch vertical. Just look at his feet. I wish I could pause it, but one more time right there. Incredible, incredible jump. It's one thing to reach up and touch 12-1 and you got a 48-inch vertical because he has higher, gets his head over the rim. So reaching and the vertex is a skill in itself. Truly, truly incredible. Really shows you what it, what it takes when you work. When you put work in, you can really make anything possible. I had a video last week about can anyone dunk? And I talked about it on my podcast today, by the way, Dunk Life Daily. Anyone can dunk, and I truly believe that. I've gained myself over 12 inches, about 13 to 14 inches of vertical. If you're anywhere within 14 inches or lower that you need to get your wrist to the rim, you're 100% there. And there's way more knowledge out there. I would probably have a higher vertical if I knew what I knew now starting my journey, aka if I had myself making videos like I make for you guys, you, the sky's the limit. Literally and figuratively, go for it. Truly, truly believe almost anyone can dunk unless you're four feet tall. You get what I'm saying? 99% of people can dunk. It starts with the belief, go prove it to yourself and you'll be happy you did. All right, let's get up next. Here is uh, his his daughter, Elizabeth Dunking. She threw it down. It was uh, amazingly adorable. Okay, I don't even know who this is. Let's go. Take off, off the dribble. Uh-oh, great technique, by the way. What? What? Oh my God. Yo, he didn't make it, but hold on. I got to see this again. I didn't know what was happening. I thought he lost. I thought he was going to just throw it up to himself. He threw it around his back. Oh my God. That is crazy. Shout out to him. I wish I knew his name, but Bill sent me this in just a video format, but I'll probably tag him with, I'll get the information. Oh, oh my, my God. God, that's incredible. That is incredible. Okay. I don't even know what to say about that. I love the creativity. I love people pushing the limits. By the way, if you want to get noticed by the dunk community, the dunk world, like the goats, like Jordan Kilgannon or Isaiah, they love creativity like that so much. So if you're trying it on a low rim, pushing the limits, tag them, tag Dunk Life, you'll see it yourself here. But the creativity is pushing the limits is the same thing as trying to reach a higher vertical. If you're pushing the limits creatively and trying things never, nobody's ever done, it, it helps the entire world. The dunk world, number one, which helps the world. Meaning, if you're trying those dunks, Jordan Kilgannon may get inspired and he might push himself to go do that. And that energy is shared and that's just the most beautiful thing. You guys know that. Okay, Jordan Sutherland, let's go. I haven't seen this one. Actually, I might have. Let's go, what do we got here? All right, so, so far slow-mo before the clip starts. Ooh, oh, the switch hands is so nasty. I don't even know, I can't even think about it. Off one, 360, switching hands. He's so smooth when he does it. That's a th like off one foot, so high as well. With the glasses on? Switching hands, too easy. He makes it look too easy. All right, what's this one? Tap. Is that off the glass? Off the glass. Oh, and reverse. Quick with the hands and the quick. I got to see if this was reverse. I don't even know. Off the glass. Oh, quick two hand reverse. That was nasty. All right. Another one. Joseph Obasi. I saw this one. This is just silly. Uh, I can watch outside the paint between the legs off the side of the glass. 
five ten. He's like five ten, five eleven. Oh, I think he. Oh, he's six one. It says here six one. Still flying. He's got one of my favorite styles. He does have long arms and long legs, but the way he smashes everything and the way he leans, disgusting. Oh, another angle. Look at this angle. Look how high he gets here. Uh, just imagine catching that off the side of the glass, then going through. The, look at that flexibility. Head at the rim. Jesus. Killer. Hamilton. I saw this one. I just saw this one. Look, I wrote something. Oh, it's not my comment. Drop step. Oh! That's what it takes when you're pushing yourself. What I love about that is that it's just, it's hype. Even though it's like, you don't really get that high or anything, but the difficulty gets you hype. I freaking love that. Drop step behind the back. Such a tough dunk. And with the drop step, the turning motion, so difficult. Ah, that's sick. I just want to drop step dunk once. All right, what else we got? I think this is the last one. Here we go. Jimma. Jimma flies. Oh, the way you punched it, though. How do you punch that? This is That's what makes a dunk for me is that... Oh, they, wait. I keep looking away. Did he punch him? Did the ball hit himself in the head? Let me see one more time. This is amazing. Oh, that's a yam off of under both. You're going to yam it from an under both. That dunk, I can't even fathom doing, which I have to get out of my head because I got to believe it if I'm ever going to do it. Once I get the between the legs down and I get my flexibility, my mobility, my hips and my hamstrings healthy, I'm going to believe I can do that one. That is, that's probably one of the best dunks I've ever seen on this, like just punch the way he punched it. But I also, one of the best dunks I would want myself to do. I really like the J Rich, like between the legs, but under both is a nasty. All right. So now let's go to dunk life real quick. See, see what's popping. All right, here we go. Not the top ones. Recent, recent. Here we go. Dunk King life. Nobody wants to smoke. Oh, everybody was doing that challenge. If I was healthy, I would have loved to do that challenge. That's a really hard one for me because of that angle. I might have had to come from the other side or something. All right, let's start. This is random. Not this one. I'm going to go for people. Ooh, I haven't seen this one. Oh, the switch hands. Okay. Do you see what I, this is really how I feel. Oh, wait, he has more dunks to it. I always think it's just one jump. Switch hands off one. Very nice. What do we got here? The lefty windmill? He finished the other one with the right, so I wonder which hand it is that he's is dominant. The pump rever reverse mill, I think that was. Kind of like a pump. Nasty. This guy's getting a lot of love. Hey! I just love the style. I want one foot so bad in my repertoire. I really want my one foot up there. Kind of looks like Chase Kilgannon with the style. I like that. What else we got? Oliver. I just like him. He jumps ridiculous. Oliver Twist. All right, let's see if we got somebody else. Why do you have to lose? You're living in poverty. Oh, I like this. Your schools this are is no Trump. Good. You have no jobs. Get up, baby. Ooh, the mini tomahawk. Of your youth is unemployed. Believe in the boy. Okay. Let's see what we got. Um, any more people? I'm trying to look for one more. That's Oliver again. Hold on. OB Dunks. I saw this one already. Really, really fast jump takeoff. Like he popped up really easy. I've been watching him for a little bit now. Nice off the backboard. Let's get it, baby. Hey, way up there. All right, one more. My boy Corey G. I gotta end it on this. Made a 10 foot today. Didn't plan to do it. Just happened. Made it. Hey, he's, he's turning 42 in a few weeks. About seven weeks, right? Calls me up super hype. First time he jumped without pain. He's trying to. Turning 42. If he, if he can jump without pain, you can too. That's what it's all about. Everybody, that was amazing. So much fun. If you like it, please leave a comment. Let me know what you want to see. Other than that, let me know what kind of training videos you want me to see. I've been making training videos every single week to help you jump higher and dunk on your dreams. Dunk life. Every day, that's dunk life. Oh, that's the anthem right there. Ich nehme schon am Singen, ich stand am Ast,